Hey yo, it's Brian here today. Gonna be talking about the Washington Redskins because the 49ers are gonna be playing them this Sunday. So let's get into it. Now, the Washington Redskins, as I said before, they are currently two and two. They had a bye week, so that's a pretty big advantage for the Washington Redskins to come off a bye week. And I guess you can call it another bye week this week because they're playing the 49ers. And unfortunately, the 49ers they can be good, but their record doesn't speak goodness. I guess you can say. I mean, 0 and 5. That's really really bad. And maybe this week they'll go 0 and 6, or maybe 1 and 5. But hopefully they go 1 and 5. I think it's better going 0-6 in my opinion, but I don't know until this Sunday. So I think they're playing at 1 o'clock Eastern time. So all you West Coast people, that's going to be pretty damn early for y'all at 10 o'clock. But I don't know, whatever. But the Washington Redskins, I mean, they're looking pretty good so far. I think they're fourth in yards allowed in terms of defense and offensively I think they're like in the middle of the pack in terms of scoring offense and Kirk Cousins is trying his best to get the most out of his talent because I mean Pierre Garcon and Deshaun Jackson are gone from Washington I mean Pierre Garcon went to us and then Deshaun Jackson went to Tampa Bay so uh, that's a pretty big blow for Kirk Cousins but Kirk Cousins is still doing pretty good for the Washington Redskins I think he has 1,004 yards and he has a 7 to 1 touchdown interception ratio so he's a pretty good ball controller I guess you can say I mean I think a couple years ago he had some turnover problems but from last year to now man he's been pretty damn good at controlling the ball I would say I mean not throwing any interceptions not fumbling the ball like crazy not like our quarterback Brian Hoyer throwing crazy interceptions and then freaking fumbling the ball so I kind of want Kirk Cousins now and that's going to be an interesting dynamic in this game for Kirk Cousins versus Kyle Shanahan because they both know each other from Kirk Cousins first and second year in Washington and Kyle Shanahan is now the head coach for the 49ers I don't know if it's going to be any different from Jay Gruden's system but we got to see this Sunday and another interesting dynamic between those two is he might be coming to the 49ers next year I made a video in during the offseason talking about should we have Kirk Cousins in the 49ers foxhole I guess you could say and I pretty much said yes so if you want to check it out it's going to be in the card section right there in the offseason and you know, after watching this season, I wouldn't mind having Kirk Cousins at all. I mean, this season is pretty much validating my point from the offseason that Kirk Cousins can be a pretty good quarterback for the 49ers. And the 49ers, they have a lot of talent on offense, I would say. I mean, Marquise Goodwin, Pierre Garçon, Carlos Hyde, Matt Breida. I mean, they're good talents, just our quarterback. That's what we need. I mean, this team looks like a quarterback away from at least being playoff contenders, I would say. I mean, I know that sounds ridiculous for anyone outside of San Francisco. But, I mean, if you just look at the games that the 49ers have been playing, defensively, they've been playing really well. But offensively uh just been pretty bad but anyways going off topic about the 49ers we're going to talk about the Washington Redskins now we talked about their offense so far I mean their rushing game is pretty good they have 130 yards average rushing yards a game and defensively they're looking pretty good as well I think they're maybe like in the middle of the pack in points allowed but I mean in yards allowed they've been pretty damn good top five so that's pretty impressive on their part and Jim Tom Sula got to give him a lot of credit for shaking up the defensive line and the new defensive corner I forgot his name it's not Jim Hazlitt, somebody else, I forgot, but I mean, last year, they were just terrible, but this year, they look fantastic, I would say, and I don't know if the 49ers can win this game, it's going to be hard for them to win this game, but if there's an upset, it's going to be an upset, and currently, as of this video, the 49ers are 10-point underdogs against the Redskins, because I guess the Redskins are a better team, and it's at Washington, so that plays to their advantage, and prediction changes for me, probably not going to make any prediction changes, I think it's going to be... A pretty close game, I would say. I mean, I don't think they're going to get blown out. I mean, the past couple of games, they haven't been blown out. But you never know. If they get blown out, then I guess I'm an idiot. But if they don't, then I guess I'm right, I would say. I guess I'm a smart person. But just making some early predictions. But I think the Washington Redskins are going to take this game, in my opinion. It's not going to be a hard game for the Redskins, in my opinion. Unless they choke or something like that. But other than that, I don't see anything too crazy that the Washington Redskins can't handle against this 49er team. Maybe next year, the 49ers can be better. But this year, I don't know, blowing leads and bad quarterback play just inconsistent play from almost everyone on the 49ers especially quarterback position what can you do this year but that's gonna be pretty much it you guys please let me know what do you guys think about the Washington Redskins do you think they're good do you think they're bad aspects of the offense and defense let me know in the comments below other notes I gotta mention is Josh Norman is gonna be out this game so if I didn't already said that in my last video he's out for this game so hopefully he can get better in a couple of weeks but since he's not gonna be in this game it's not gonna change my opinion on the, my prediction for the Washington Redskins and San Francisco 49ers I still think they're a good team without him this game but maybe they'll need him in a couple weeks but I'm not sure but that's that's just my little quick note right there. So again, please comment below what you think about the Washington Redskins. If you guys like this, please I'll like, subscribe, do whatever you want with this. And I'll be catching you guys up later. So I hope you guys have a nice day, nice weekend, nice whatever. I will be making another video about Brian Hoyer. So it should be interesting. I want to see what you guys had to say again after a couple weeks making a video about should we start him or bench him. So just a little assessment I wanted to do. So stay tuned to that tomorrow. I'll catch you guys up later. Bye, guys.